Hello students, welcome to the session. Students, in this class, I want to discuss with you an assignment key. Students, let us see each and every question with the help of awesome examples and solutions. Students, first question is, what is reproduction? How can you define a reproduction process? So, first take a reproduction. Reproduction. What do you mean by reproduction? So, the process of generation the process of generation of new species or organisms or organisms generally considered as a reproduction process generally reproduction is seen in all kind of living organisms right from the unicellular organisms to multicellular organisms right from the unicellular organisms to multicellular organisms the process of reproduction is a common process which helps in the formation of new species or living organisms if you take amoeba which is a unicellular organism it reproduced by it reproduced by a special mode of reproduction Whereas, if you take humans or human beings, we have a specialized reproductive organs which plays an important role in the formation of new living organisms. So, anyway, the reproduction is a one of the biological process that involves in the formation of new species. Clear students? Going for the second question. Reproductive part of the plant is the even plants also shows reproduction process. Reproduction in plants takes place by or what is the major reproductive organ of a plant? It is definitely flower. Suppose take the flower which is the reproductive unit of the plant. You know that flower has typical structure. Suppose take a, a bisexual flower take a bisexual flower, the bisexual flower generally looks like this. What are the colorful parts of a uh, flower? The colorful parts of a flower is called petals which attracts the insects for pollination process. So, for your understanding I have drawn the diagram. Anyway, the flower which is considered as major reproductive unit of the some of the plants, not all the plants. If you take a, a plant kingdom, in the plant kingdom, all of the plants are not reproducing by flower, but some of the plants, they reproduce by certain kind of body parts like roots, stem and also leaves, etc. All those things we are going to discuss in the further classes. Clear students? So, answer 2. Option 2 is the suitable answer for this question. Third one, vegetative part of the plant are, what are the vegetative parts of a plant? It is a stem, leaf, root. These three parts are considered as a vegetative parts. Hence, option 4 is a suitable for this question. Going for the next question, what are the different types of reproduction in plants? You know that there are two different types of reproductions are seen in the plants. One is sexual reproduction, sexual reproduction and second type of reproduction is asexual reproduction, asexual reproduction. Based upon the involvement of gametes, based on the presence of gametes or absence of gametes, reproduction generally classified into two types. What are they? The first one is sexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction takes place by gametes. The gametes are such as like male gametes and female gametes. Male gametes in the plant, what are the male gametes? Suppose take the male gametes. In the plants, pollen grains are considered as male gametes. Pollen grains are considered as male gametes. What about female gametes? In the plant, ova 
are ovaries which are considered as female gametes of the plant. If reproduction takes place by these gametes, hence it is considered as a sexual reproduction. If reproduction takes place by body parts of a plant like stem, roots and the leaves, this kind of reproduction is considered as generally asexual mode of reproduction. Clear students? This is a small differentiation between uh, the small explanation for the different types of reproductions in plants. Asexual reproduction, suppose take the asexual reproduction. Second type of reproduction seen in the plants is asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction in plants scientifically called as vegetative, vegetative propagation. What it is called? Vegetative propagation. The reproduction which takes place by vegetative parts of the plant is called vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation occurs through leaves, stem, roots, etc. Clear students? Going for the next question. Let us see the next question. What are gametes? Gametes are considered as structural, functional and fundamental unit of the reproductive organs. Structural, functional and fundamental unit of the reproductive organs. Okay. So, gametes are involved in the process of sexual reproduction. Gametes are involved in the process of sexual reproduction. Gametes are generally cells. Gametes are generally cells. What type of cells they are? There are male gametes or male gametic cells, female gametic cells generally seen in the uh, human beings or in the plants itself. Clear students? So, the gametes are cells which helps in the process of reproduction. If reproduction takes place by the cells like gametes, that kind of reproduction is called as sexual reproduction. What it is called, Nana? Sexual reproduction. Am I clear? Am I clear? Going for the next question. Statements. There are two statements are given here. Let us read each and every statement. First statement, reproductive part of the plant is the flower. So, first option is correct. Statement 2, vegetative part of the plant are stem. Yes, absolutely correct. Statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 is also correct. So, 1 and 2 are true. Option 1 is the answer for this question. Clear students? So, this is an exciting assignment. Remaining we are going to discuss in the further classes. Until be safe. Thank you. Have a nice day.